Good morning ladies and gentlemen, my name is Napoleon Total and today we're back with another enlisted video. In today's case we're going to be doing tier 4 Germany. In today's video we're going to be looking at all the weapons of tier 4 Germany, some of the lineups I suggest, some of the perks, and some of the other suggestions for tier 4 Germany. That said, without further ado, let's get started with tier 4 Germany. Starting at tier 4 itself, we have the rifles. We have the two semi-automatic rifles, that being the ZH-29 and the Gewehr-43. Of course, these two rifles are pretty good, and in my opinion, honestly, it's really, really, really similar. Some people like the ZH-29, but I personally like the Gewehr-43, just because of the sights, so it really depends on you. And finally, we have the Sniper Gewehr 43, which is essentially what it says, uh, Gewehr 43 with a sniper rifle. So that's gonna be that. In terms of the SMGs, we have the Breda M38, and that's it, which is questionable because all of the other assault weapons that we have, such as the ZK383, the MP35-1, the Breda M38-42, is in tier 3, whereas the Brita M38 40 round magazine is in tier 4, so that is pretty much the only assault weapon yeah, you can get, which is very unfortunate for you. That said, we have two machine guns, of which these are the MG42 and the MG34 with a 75 round magazine. Honestly, by this point in Enlisted, the MG34 MG42 difference is quite minimal. Honestly, just suggest that you get the MG34 with a 75 round magazine because that thing is, has more ammunition. That said, let's move on to the anti-tank weapons. We have the RBZB43, which is actually a pretty good anti-tank weapon, and it gives you a cool gas mask for your infantrymen, but I highly suggest that you don't use it, and that you get the Panzerfaust 100, which is actually, in my opinion, a direct upgrade of the Panzerfaust 60, and in my opinion, a better, a much better version of the Panzerfaust 60 and the RBZB 43. That said, we have the Flammenwerfer 41 for the flamethrowers, and in my opinion, that is actually a direct upgrade of the Flammenwerfer 35 at tier 3. Do I suggest that you use it? Really depends on you at this point. So that's that. In terms of tanks, we have the Panzer 4 H, which is an upgrade of the Panzer 4 J. Honestly, I rather suggest that you just stick with the Panzer 4 J. Panzer A and the Panther G. Now these two tanks, in my opinion, the Panther G has more armor, whereas the Panther A has less armor. In reality, most of these two tanks are just way too similar than you think, so that's gonna be that. In terms of the tank destroyers, we have the Yak Panther 4 and the Panzer 470A. Now both of these tanks are pretty much similar in almost every category, except for the Panther 470A having more armor frontally, so that's gonna be that. Moving on to the planes, we start with the JU-1AAA-2. Now this thing has 6 250kg bombs, which is insane at this tier, because it can just bomb the entire place around and nothing can be stopped. We also have the BF-109G6, with its two 13mm machine guns, a 20mm cannon, and its 450kg bombs. Following that, we have the ME-410 with four rockets, four 20mm cannons, with two 7.92 machine guns, and two 13mm machine guns. This thing is practically packing in terms of damage, and in my opinion, should you get this plane, the answer is depending on you. Literally, the answer literally quite depends on you, because if you like it, take it. Honestly, I personally just get the JU-1A8A2 because it has more firepower in terms of bomb loads. After that, we have the BF-109 G10. Like with the G6, this has two 13mm cannons, two 20mm cannons, and one 20mm cannon, which is pretty good. That said, to recap the entire section of Tier 4, Tier 4, you really have the ability to only get the Gewehr 43 or the ZH-29 for rifles, so that's gonna be that. In terms of uh, sniper rifles, you still have the Gewehr 43, which is actually, in my opinion, uh, quite similar to the American rifles at this tier, and a direct comparison will be the Car 98K with the Car 98K having a long range ability, whereas the Gewehr 43 has the ability to go short range. In terms of the assault rifles, or should I say the SMGs, you only have the Breda M38 with the 40 round magazine, and that's that. You have the MG42, you have the MG34 with a drum magazine, which I only suggest that you get the MG34 with a 75 round drum magazine. 
and I highly suggest that you get the Panzerfaust 100 for your AT squads. In terms of tanks, only suggest that you get the Panther A or the Panther G, of which only suggest that you get the Panther A, because the Panther A is no different from the Panther G. That said, in terms of planes, really highly suggest that you either stick with the JU-1A8 or with the ME-410A1U2. That's it. Because everything else, although good, is mostly focused on anti-air, which is pretty good in my opinion. That said, overall, Tier 4 for Germany is that. In my opinions, for lineups, I either suggest that you get the Assaulter Squad, which you can pretty much be used, or, for, especially for Tier 4, that you get a Machine Gun Squad, because a Machine Gun Squad is much better. You can also switch out that Machine Gun Squad with a Sniper Squad, which is also feasible. You can also bring a Flamethrower Squad, which, like I said, is also very feasible. You can also get a Half Track Squad. And you have to bring either a tank squad or a plane squad. In my opinion, I highly suggest that you bring a tank squad because that your Panther A is a very good tank. Tank squad, a machine gun squad, a radio operator squad, and finally, sniper squad, or a flamethrower squad, or a half track squad. But that said, let's move on to the perks. In terms of perks, the perk system is actually quite simple. Literally just get minus 40% Firearm vertical recoil, vitality, and plus 75% medic pack usage speed. In terms of the perks for the tankers, I highly suggest that you get the plus 20% tank gun reload speed perk for the loader, and the change type of ammunition without losing reload progress perk for the loader. In terms of the planes, that's pretty much even more simpler with the perk only being plus minus 60% damage when hard landing with a parachute. And that's it for the perks. To recap the entire tier 4 section, I highly suggest that you don't play tier 4. Reason simple. For Germany, you don't have a lot of weapons uh, in terms of automatic and semi-automatic weapons, so that's a downside. In terms of the tanks, in terms of the battlefield itself, most of your tier 4 battles will be dominated by tier 5. Literally, I literally suggest that you either go back to tier 3 or tier 2 because that thing is more fun. If you are grinding for tier 4, I suggest you the best of luck. Unless you can get to tier 5, which by that point, then yeah, that's that. That's that. But good luck at tier 4 if you are grinding tier 4. And have a great day guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and join the Discord. And I'll see you in the next one.